sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat Baraka. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So we do of course get the basic style box when it comes to Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat line. So we do get the window right there in the front of the box on the top to see ages 17 and up. Storm Collectibles 112 Action Series. We do get a cool image of Baraka on the side there says Mortal Kombat and Baraka. And then here is the bottom of the box with the barcode and blah 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 stuff nobody cares about. Then here is the top of the box. And then the one side with a cool image of the figure there. Then the other side does have the continuation of the image from the front which looks badass. And the back of it does show a bunch of really dope poses. You can get this figure into along with most of his accessories. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure over to take a closer look at this character who you definitely wouldn't want to get bit by. Alrighty, take it a closer detailed look, and Storm Collectibles once again knocked it out of the park with another one of their Mortal Kombat figures, and this Baraka just turned out so damn awesome. Has a very, like, sadistic, creepy look to him, and uh, he, he always gave me that vibe when I played as him as a character in the game here. Now, one thing that people do have an issue with, including myself, is where the, uh, the arm blades are coming out of. They're coming out of like the side of the forearm, and I, I could have sworn they came out the top of the forearm. Even in the promo images, they have them coming out the top of the forearm. So a lot of people do have an issue with that. I, I definitely can live with it, but I would have preferred them to be where they should be, which is on the top of the forearm there. So I found that odd that they switched that at like the last minute there. And then another thing, his teeth on the promo images are painted silver, but they made them like a normal teeth color for the the official release right here and I don't know which is more accurate this color or the silver there so that's two little things right there that people do have issues with with this figure me I'm fine with the color of the teeth and uh, I can deal with the uh, the the arm blades coming out like the side of the forearm instead of the top there now for the head sculpt here I think they killed it with the head sculpt the teeth look sick as hell I love the red I like the top of the teeth you don't want to get bit by Baraka, that's all I could say, and I love the all-black eyes. Like I said, a very sadistic, evil look, and that definitely does capture the crazy look of Baraka there. We get some, like, sculpted wrinkles around where his mouth is on his cheeks, and I like uh, these, like, sculpted pieces, like, above his eyebrow, like, on the side of his temple right there. I think that looks pretty cool, and then we do get the pointy ears there, and if you look close enough... You can see like these dots throughout the skin tone on his head, which gives it like a realistic type look. So definitely nice job on the head sculpt. Now the torso here, they did a good job uh, on the upper torso around like the muscle definition. And the shirt looks pretty cool too. We get some nice sculpted wrinkles all throughout it. And they did sculpt under uh, the shirt entirely on the torso there. And the shirt is a uh, separate piece there. So you can move the torso around without like the shirt restricting it i mean it does a little bit but not uh too much there and the red paint is is pretty clean for the most part if you look close enough at it you see some spots not perfect but it's definitely uh good enough there and we get some nice sculpted wrinkles on the back as well and i don't really see too much shading on the figure besides a little bit on the top of the head but that's really it for uh the shading there and then the arms turned out pretty good too nice sculpt work on the muscle definition you can see veins throughout the arms i like these bands with these spikes around the bicep i think that looks pretty cool and definitely another one of my favorite parts is the wrist blades here and all the spikes coming out the forearm i love how they added the red for the blood coming out of all the spikes and all the red around where the uh, wrist blades or the forearm blades come out of his forearm right there that just looks so damn sick man love the way that turned out and the blades look great also we'll go over that more in detail during the accessories and then we do get like the loincloth piece and I like the silver paint that they chose for this and it is a soft rubbery type plastic so it will get out of the way of the articulation. Same with like these suspender type pieces. They are a soft rubbery type plastic which is what the figure is mainly made out of like the torso and the shirt and everything. Uh, now for the legs here we do get some nice sculpted wrinkles all throughout the pants there. And then they get a little bit tighter when they get down to the knees and the lower leg there and these red pieces are sculpted on there and the paint on them is pretty damn clean so very nice job on that and then for the feet there we do get his white shoes that do have a little bit of sculpted wrinkles and where the black meets the white uh very clean paint on that as well and then the bottom of them not much going on at all but overall storm collectibles like i said 
did another fantastic job with another Mortal Kombat figure, and I definitely can't be any more happy with how the detail turned out. But anyway, let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, we had a bunch of really dope stuff included with Baraka. So what we do get, we do get two interchangeable heads. And starting on the left, we do get the closed mouth face, which is the one that does come on the figure out of the packaging that we already took a look at. And it does have like a sadistic, smiling look to it. And they did a fantastic job with that one there. Then on the right, we do get my favorite out of the two, which is the open mouth. I'm about to bite your head off face, and they did an excellent job with that one as well. The teeth look nice and sharp. You can see the tongue inside the mouth and everything, and the blacked out eyes, just awesome faces with Baraka here. So A++ plus 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 to you, Storm Collectibles, and it's very easy to swap the heads. I'll show you how to do that right now quickly. And the way you swap the heads is basic for Storm Collectibles. If you have any other figures, you know how to do it. So just pull up on this head, and it'll pop right off the ball peg. Take the new head here, push down on the joint, and it pops right on there. And then there you go, as simple as that. And that head sculpt is so damn sick. So we do get the two interchangeable heads. And then we also get two pairs of interchangeable arm blades. We do get his blade effect. And then we do get two pairs of blood effects. So for the blades here, we do get the retracted and extended ones. And the retract retracted ones are the ones... I already had on the figure. These are the ones that do come on the figure out of the packaging as well, and I love how it looks like it's sharp the way they painted it, like a grayish and black color on the dull end, and then on the sharp end, it's that, that silver color, which is the main color of the blade, and it is sharp, so be careful of that, and they're very easy to swap out. I'll show you how to do that shortly. Then we do get the extended blades, which just look like the shorter ones, just longer, of course. I love the black and uh, that blackish grayish paint and then how it looks like it's sharper on this end with that silver paint there. And it's a little warped here which can be fixed so really not that big of a deal. And I'll show you how to swap these shortly. Let's just take a look at the effects here. Then we do get the blade effect which was one of his moves in the game. And it is a very nice purple translucent plastic. Has some nice sculpt to it. Then we do have a peg hole in it but they did not include a stand so you have to use one of your own, and a Tamashii Nation stand will uh, work for that peg hole right there. But I do like the way this effect looks. Then we do get two sets of blood effects. So we do have two larger ones and two smaller ones. And the larger ones go around like the shoulder and the torso of one of the ninja characters. And it is a red translucent plastic. The sculpt of it looks really nice. The, the paint gets a little darker the more it goes to the end of the blood squirting out right there so i really dig the way that turned out and then the smaller one pretty much same thing just smaller as you can see right there so really cool looking blood effects so i'll show you what those look like on a character right now and how to swap the interchangeable arm blades and swapping out baraka's arm blades is very simple they're just pegged in so just unpeg it like that on both sides then take the extended blades line up the peg and peg these in and then there you go this is how simple it is to do and he looks badass once you have the extended blades out so we do get his awesome blades and now the way you get on the blood effects is very simple as well so take a ninja character here and these ones like i said go over the shoulders like that and then the smaller ones go around like the uh, in between like where the where the bicep swivel cut is like that. So that's how you get the smaller ones on like that. And these ones you just put over the shoulders. Damn you, come on, you damn effects. Just put over the shoulders and kind of slide it down over the torso. And they kind of go on like that. But try to get it over this piece. I'm just trying to show you quickly had to do it so you do something like that so it looks like he just slashed them right there and this one's a little loose one of the smaller ones this one seems to fit on better yeah that's the better one and then it looks like he slashed at their arms as well so i really dig the way these blood effects look so we do get all that awesome stuff and then we finally get eight alternate hands and starting on the top here we do get a pair of fists of course which do come on the figure out of the packaging then below those we do get a pair of gripping hands then we do get two different pairs of open hands so we do have some like open type hands with the fingers more extended then we do get some other open hands where the fingers are a bit clenched and you can see they did paint all of his fingernails 
silver as well. You can see the veins sculpted on the top of the hands and everything. So very nice job with the sculpt and paint. And it's very easy to swap the hands as well. The joints don't pop off with the hands like all the ninja figures. But anyway, that is all the awesome accessories included with Baraka. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? Now, for the height of Piranha Mouth to the very top of his head, it looks like he's around 7 inches tall, or maybe just shy of 7 inches tall. And then here he is compared to the NECA Ultimate Edition City Hunter Predator, the NECA Original Movie Team and T. Raphael, and the Storm Collectibles Reptile and Goro. And I think this Baraka scales well with NECA and the other MK Storm figures. And then here he is compared to the Mezco 112 Silver Knight Batman, the Mezco 112 Logan, the Mefex comic version Deadpool, and no, not the X-Men Origins Wolverine Deadpool, and the 1000 Toys Hellboy. And then here he is compared to the Storm Collectible Smoke, the SH Figure Arts Sage Mode Naruto, the Mefex Justice League Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And then here he is compared to the SH Figyards Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation and Storm Collectibles is known for having some really nice movement. And Baraka here does have some great articulation. So we do get like a barbell type joint at the neck, but you can't really see it because you have one part that connects to the head and then one part that connects into the torso there so the upper part of that joint you could get Baraka to look up about that much which isn't too bad and then looks down pretty much looking straight ahead using just the upper part of the joint then you do get a little bit of pivot at the upper part and then it does swivel as well the lower part of it goes forward about that much so combining both joints you can get Baraka to look down decently and then combining both joints going back he only looks up about that much. You do get a little more pivot using that joint there, as you can see. And then you could probably get it to swivel as well. So combining both the joints at that barbell type joint, you do get some nice articulation. And then we do get a point of articulation at the torso, which is under the shirt. And then we do get one at the waist there. So with that joint, you could get Baraka whoops, to go back a pretty damn good amount. And then going forward crunches forward decently and using it with the waist he does crunch forward really well and then using the waist with the torso going back he does go back very well also and then you do get pivot at the torso it will get restricted a little bit by the shirt and then it does swivel as well and then the waist as i mentioned does go forward and back as i showed you a little bit before it does have really nice pivot and then it does swivel as well so combining both the joints you do get some excellent articulation now for the arms here we do get a very nice shoulder joint so you can move the arm in a great circular motion as you can see right there and then the arms do go out to the sides a lot more than 90 degrees so that is definitely awesome they do go up and down we do have true bicep swivel double jointed elbows that bend in a little more than 45 degrees which is definitely uh, good enough and then we do have the ball hinge on the wrist so it does hinge back and forth and swivels as well and then it does swivel where it connects into the arm of course now for the legs here Baraka can kick forward a lot more than 90 degrees so that is definitely awesome it goes to the back pretty much 90 degrees let's see if he can Jean-Claude Van Damme it and he definitely can because he is Baraka and then we do get a little bit of a hip swivel it doesn't really move that much though you don't get too much swivel like either at the leg or the ankle there we have the uh, double jointed knees that do bend back all the way and then for the ankles they don't swivel so some people might not like that but they do hinge up pretty good hinge down extremely well it looks like we have a ball hinge at the uh, ankle there and then you get excellent ankle pivot with this Baraka as you can see there I don't think it can swivel does just a little bit as you can see right there it might be able to swivel more I don't know maybe where the joint connects into the leg it swivels but I can't get mine to swivel any more than that and then we do have a nice toe hinge so overall this Baraka is definitely loaded with a bunch of great articulation and you're gonna be able to get them in some pretty cool Baraka-y light poses and I'm about to show you some of them right about now
But anyway, that is my review of the Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat Baraka. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure between a 1 through 10, I'd definitely have to give it an even 9. If you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure, I did get mine from Ageless Geeks, so you can check over at agelessgeeks.com. If you can't find it on there, I do highly recommend going through their Instagram or Facebook page. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it, but thanks for watching. I will see you later. Storm Collectibles, Mortal Kombat, Barack Obama. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So we do, of course, get the... Whoops, I hit the camera. Of the figure there, then there's the other side of the box with the... You get some blood effects. We got four of them, so... Yeah. <laughs> That does come on the figure out of the packaging. We already took a look at it and they did a de doop da doop da doop da doop And then we do get a pair of gripping hands in a tool ta doop da doop. So you have to use one of your arm, one of your, one of your arms. 